Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kiana Murray. If you are new here, then welcome. If you're not new here, then welcome back. Today I have a wig from the company Yolissa Hair. Now it is my first time working with them and I decided I'm going to take today's video a little bit slower because after watching some of my previous videos, I realized I talk way too fast and it's hard to follow along or it just gets kind of hard to listen to so these are all the goodies they sent me they sent me some lashes that i actually did end up using after i took off my extensions and these are just everything else you know wig cap edge band all that we're gonna get into the hair now the hair is hd lace it is 180 percent density 20 inches usually i don't accept like medium lengths i think that's what i would call it usually i either do short or like really long but for some reason something told me to accept this wig I also don't usually do straight wigs, but just look at how beautiful that looks. And the wig comes pre-customized, so it is pre-bleached, pre-plucked, and pre-cut. I didn't even go in with my scissors. And look at the cap construction. Overall, the wig is very full, and I really like the way that they presented it. I didn't even put any products on the hair itself. I did end up putting my lace tint on the lace and a little bit of hairspray just to get, like, the back of it smooth for when I was doing that side part but look at the quality of this hair and how shiny it is and I didn't put anything in it this is how it came also I didn't see a whole bunch of flyaways or split ends so I was really happy about that because I don't usually do straight wigs for that exact reason they also have that grip elastic band that I like this is what's going to keep your glueless wig on if you get a glueless wig and it has that regular smooth band you might as well have just bought a plain old wig and just slapped it on yourself because it's not going to really stay how you want it to if you're really planning to wear this glueless wig like it's an install, that grip is going to help it to stay to your head and also just to make sure it doesn't slide back with sweat, daily activities, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm taking my even lace tint in the shade medium dark brown. It is listed in my Amazon storefront in the description box as well as any like Amazon wigs that I've done. But I use this spray a whole bunch just because it sits a lot better on the glueless wigs than makeup. Makeup kind of makes a layer versus this. It just tints the lace like that's really all it does takes like 20 seconds to dry and they also have a quick drying version so that's how it look on my hand my hand is a little bit lighter than my face so when I put this on it's gonna actually match my skin but I do have bronzer on my forehead so I'm gonna make sure that matches the bronzer as well like if you have on makeup and you're putting on your wig you got to make sure it matches to whatever makeup is on your forehead so I like to match the shadows that I put on my forehead and just look how silky smooth the hair is This is exactly what I was talking about with that grip elastic band that shows you that it does not shift my wig. So if you want to go on a roller coaster, you can go on a roller coaster. I've personally gone on roller coasters with my glue wig. Now I know everybody sees that line and that's what we're going to fix. I'm using the same bronzer that I used on my forehead when I did my makeup. If it was contour, then I do the contour. Whatever it is that I used on my forehead or whatever matches my forehead, I make sure to use that because my forehead is not going to be the exact same as the rest of my face. And the lace is 5 inches by 5. It does look like it's a little bit more going back because the parting space is so wide. And I have a small head, but I promise you it is a 5 by 5. But it does give that nice frontal effect with the way that they customize this way. Personally, I prefer to use hairspray instead of the wax stick to get down like my straight wigs to get flat because I don't like how the wax stick looks on straight wigs. I feel like it just sticks the hair together, but when a wax stick is on a curly wig, it looks really good. It makes it look sleek. It like brings it together, but on a straight wig, no, hell no. It just doesn't look how it's supposed to. I don't know. But this is what the back of the wig is looking like. Now, I haven't put the hot tool on yet, and then I realized I left my hot comb at home. So I ended up having to use a hot curling iron and just like rolling it over the back of my head. So it wasn't fully flat, but it was enough to, you know, pass the install and do whatever. And you can see that it's glueless and it's not like too tight on my head. You want to make sure your glueless wig is not too tight or your head will start hurting. Those could cause headaches.
gorgeous and just to show you that it is glueless i'm putting my rat tail all the way up there because sometimes when i spray the hairspray to tame the hairline people think that i'm spraying it on the actual lace never that it's always glueless over here unless i'm doing a 13 by 4 but this is a closure you don't need any glue or adhesive and then i'm just going over the hair once again with my flat iron i know it looks like a curler it's a two-in-one so i just went over the hair once again and that was pretty much all i did i did not rub any products not even any heat protectant. I probably should have put heat protectant, but I did not end up doing that. So no products. Yolissa hair ate down. They did their thing. And I love how full the hair is all the way to the end. Usually the straight wigs don't be it for me just because they're not full, but this one is thick. Okay, so we are going to start off, I, I don't even know where we should start off, honestly, because this wig is really, really cute. The part that I love the most, the hair quality. There are absolutely no products in this hair, not even heat protectant, and it looks this good. And the best part, the wig is 100% glueless, no glue, and it is snug to my head. No, it will not come off or even shift. That is how much grip this wig has this wig is from none other than the company yolissa hair this is my first time working with them and i am truly impressed by their skills first off this wig comes pre everything that means pre-bleached pre-plucked pre-cut anything that you could think of this wig is supposed to already come with that and it definitely did i love the fact that the hair is just so smooth so soft just so now my favorite favorite part about the customization is probably the length as well the hair is full going all the way down as you can see there are no split ends and this is a 20 inch wig the hair goes all the way down and stays full and the hairline is a five by five this is the amount of parting space that i have going right back into a five i have 20 inches 180 percent density and it is hd lace this is one of the probably one of the best quality straight glueless wigs that i've received Usually the straight glue wigs that I receive are not this like, like, do y'all see that? Do y'all see the quality? Do y'all see that quality? And then the hair moves, okay? This hair moves. This hair moves as if it was a lightweight virgin bundle. This hair moves. Just look at that. I love the way the company constructed this wig. Also, if you're looking just to get into a nice everyday wig, I would recommend a wig like this. Like a straight wig like this would be the perfect thing to wear every day you could just put it on slap it on and go the wig was very snug i did have to untighten the elastic band just a little bit to kind of get it to come down comes pre-bleached i'm gonna kind of come closer so you guys can see the knots the only product that i have on those knots is just the only product on those knots is just some of that even lace tint which i will be linking i use this in all my videos like literally every single video i use this in so yeah, these products are probably the best thing to put on a nice lightweight wig like this. I noticed that the lace is very thin, which is good. So you don't want to put any heavy products. Something like this will work perfect. It matches my skin tone really nice. And you also have enough parting space to do a side part if you really want to. By just going in like so, the hair is very full. So it's going to snap back at me attempting to make this side part. But I'm going to try my best. So something like that i would have to hot comb or like flat iron the edge of this to kind of get it to lay flat let me see if i brush it it stays how i want it to be let me see okay so the brush helped a little bit but not really up here i'm gonna go in with my hot tool and see if maybe that helps to flatten it out just a little bit okay so this is what the hair looks like with a side part i didn't fully get to do like a full you know laid down fried and dyed and all that stuff side part because i kind of don't want to put the hot comb directly on my head but this is what the wig is looking like as you can see you have a great amount of parting space and they did a wonderful job bleaching the knots all the way through those knots are bleached and they are not going anywhere the ends of the wig are super full and like i said this wig is from none other than the company yolissa hair 
if you want to see more from Ulyssa hair as well as check out other Glueless Week finds from them, the details will be in the description box below. And if you want to know what products I use, I do have a playlist of that in my Amazon storefront. I love you guys. Don't forget to have a wonderful day and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.